Yeah, amazing, Miss Ramal London. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for me. having me. You want to give the amazing viewers a quick introduction as to who you are, just yeah. so they know a bit about you. Yeah, sure. So I'm a TV radio presenter and host, uh, so people can find me on Capital Extra. I'm on a show on Sky Arts. And um, yeah, it's been a career that's been really up and down, if I'm honest, but I'm really proud of my journey. So um, I'm really excited to kind of talk about the ins and outs of all of that. Well, let's do that. So what would you say some of your core skills are? Because throughout this program, the young people have been learning all about, you know, different core skills they can yeah. be using to thrive in their career. What's some of your core skills or even, let's call them superpowers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's call them superpowers. Like, what makes you, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? What makes you the superhero that you are? Um, do you know what? I think one thing is I love telling a story. So I've had to master the art of telling the story on radio, on TV, and creating content. So it's about having that initial idea and then turning it into something that can be visual, can be audio and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I've learned being organized is a big part of that. Take this in, yeah. take this in, <laughs> like, take this in. It's good to have a great idea, but making it happen, you need to think about before production, during production, after production, there's a lot that goes into building your story. So um, being organized, having the vision, but actually like logistically putting it out there, that's really important. On a day-to-day -day basis yeah. or week-to-week -week basis even, how are you actually using those? How are you using them in practice? Whew, whew, whew. I mean, <laughs> it takes a lot of um, self-belief, but also having trust and belief in others, having a team is so important. So I had to learn to become a good communicator. Um, so, you know, filming, um, being on set, recording in the studio, you have to be able to take good direction, but also uh, deliver what someone has asked of you as well. So, you know, you have to be like, okay, cool. They've asked me to do this. And self-doubt does sometimes creep in, but you've got to be like, do you know what? They booked me for this. There's a reason I'm here. I'm sick. Let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 that's real. That's so you real. have to overcome any fear, any doubt first and foremost. But also, you know, you have to have trust in the people around you. You have to have trust mm -hmm. in the camera operator, the sound engineer, big up everyone in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, real, you have real. to have trust in them that they are doing what you're doing, what they're doing, and you do what you're doing. So, you know, having a good relationship, listening, um, giving direction. If, for example, you're the producer, director and host at the same time, yeah. you have to be able to communicate and know when to just do your thing and focus. So this one, I want you to, you know, take your time to think about this if you want, <laughs> but really think about, you know, how this relates to the young people who are going to be watching this and therefore be able to action this in their own lives. So in today's climate, what are the benefits of being adaptable and agile? Yeah, and having the ability to manage change. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Again, yeah. it's a learning experience. Um, so first of all, being adaptable and agile. I think, you know, the world is always changing. Whatever industry you go into, whatever uh, team you're working with, they could be changing all the time. I feel like, you know, I'm always learning always, always learning. Like, even though I've achieved certain things, there's more I want from life. So, you know, I, I'm not afraid to ask questions. I'm not afraid to, you know, uh, research things in my own time just so I can be prepared. Preparation is very important for a lot of, a lot of different careers. Um, so, you know, be, be mindful that not everything's gonna happen the way you want it. And be mindful that, you know, you might need to take some time out or, or take some additional time to get to a place where you can adapt or be agile. So, you know, you gotta move with yeah, it. you gotta move with it. You gotta, <laughs> say, you gotta move with it. Change is the only constant, my people. If you were starting out again, what's one key thing that you would tell yourself? A piece of advice, you know, maybe something you do slightly differently. What would that thing be? Oh my gosh. I don't want to do it again, but <laughs> but I do you know what? I don't regret any moment in my in my life. Everything is experience and I would let myself know that it will be scary. There will be times where you might not be having that much fun, yeah. but you need to because, for example, for my career, you have to do a lot of work experience and some of it's unpaid. And that also means sometimes you need to do extra jobs. Yeah. So you might be doing your side hustle Monday to Wednesday, doing your passion on a Thursday night and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're working again. So, you know, save your money, get as much rest as you can, but also try and enjoy it. Don't let the sad times ruin 
the experience because it's really important to just live in the moment and appreciate everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously hindsight is one <laughs> crazy thing. Looking back, I'm like, girl, that was a breeze. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. back then I was stressed and I'm like, do you know what? Don't let the, the, the fast paced life or hustle get you down. Like, do you know what? Take time out, have a break, have a holiday, chill with family, chill with friends. Don't let the work consume your life. Mm. So I would definitely tell myself, relax, of course, of course. <laughs> relax. Of there is plenty of time to be a boss, to be everywhere and all that kind of stuff. If you're tired, go to sleep. When I was in my, my late teens, early twenties, getting out of uni, I was like, right, I have to be everywhere. People need to see me, I'm a presenter. I have to be here, there and everywhere. But then I'd burn myself out, be sick for maybe two weeks, then you you can't go anywhere anyway. So you have to really be mindful. Take your vitamins, my mum always says take your vitamins. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, if that means um, getting extra fitness involved, like, you know, keep your mind and your body and everything, your soul in, in check. Like you have to really be on top of um, just how you feel. Again, it's just being a bit more mindful about using your time wisely, not burning yourself out. You don't have to impress everybody. You don't have to be everywhere. Um, do the things that are really gonna benefit you. So you've got to have the, you know, the long-term goals rather than the just short-term, oh, but I was here and I was there and I did that for him or whatever. Like networking is key, but also looking after your mental health is major, majorly important. That's the major key.